In this video, I am going to give you a brief introduction to percentile, quartile, fine number summary, and box plot. Let's talk about percentile and quartile. So you, the best way to talk about percentile and quartile is using US dollars, USD, all right? So using US dollars, we have two coins right there. The first one is penny. So this one is a penny and this one is a quarter. How much is a penny worth? A penny is one cent, a quarter is 25 cent, right? So we know that one US dollar is equal to a hundred penny, right? So we have one cent times a hundred. And then one US dollar is equal to four quarters, right? So we have 25 cents times a times four, so which is equal to 0 0.01 times 100. This is 0 0.25 times 100. So what is the difference between percentile and quartile? So percentile, so let's say I am giving you a 36 percentile. 36 percentile. What does that mean? How do you give me 36 so to give you a 36 percentile, the way we do this is I am going to give you 36 pennies. I am going to count the pennies to you one at a time. So that is 36 percentile. How about 78 percentile? 78 percentile is I am going to give you 78 cents and they are all in pennies. I am going to give you those pennies one at a time. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, so on and so forth. I am going to keep doing this until you get all 78 pennies. All right. So this is how percentile works. How about quartile? So let's switch color for that quartile. So quartile, here is how quartile works. So to give you a quartile, I cannot give you 36% and 78% anymore because in order to do quartile, I have to give you 25% at a time. So I can either give you a 25%, 50%, 75%, or 100%. So let's say uh, you want 20 five percentile so the 25th percentile what is 25th percentile mean so every time you I use the word 25th percentile that means I am looking for the first 25 percent of a quantity so if you have a dollar and you are looking for a 25 percentile I am looking for the first 25 percent and then 50 percent is the you have 35 plus 25 so that would be the first 25 percent plus the next 25 percent if you are using percentile which is penny so if you want the first 10 percentile so that means i am looking for the first 10 quarters in a dollar so how do you picture this so using percentile here is the pictures you can create in your mind so you are laying out pennies on on the table one at a time right so this dot stands for penny and you have 100 pennies 36 percentile means i want you to go from left to right grab the first 36 per, 36 pennies and then 78 percent means you go from left to right i want you to grab the first 78 pennies one at a time you go from left to right if i give you a 15 percentile i want you to pick up these pennies from left to right one at a time i want you to pick up the first 15 pennies if you have a 27 percentile that means you have 100 pennies lined up on your table i want you to pick up 27 pennies you go from left to right you pick them up one at a time so that's how the percentile works so percentile is penny i give you one percent at a time quartile is quarter i give you one quarter at a time so the increment is goes up by 25 25 25 okay so how do you put this in our everyday language so let's say uh back in your high school uh you everybody has a gpa right so what is the top three percent mean so you are a senior right so before you graduate the school will announce okay so here is the cut of the top three percent of all the graduates so the top three percent 
So let me explain that the top 3% using a different color. So the top 3% here is how you interpret that. So you have a line. So let's say uh, this line stands for all the seniors GPA. You short all the GPAs in ascending order. So that means on the left hand side, you have a minimum. On the right hand side, you have a maximum. Minimum means the lowest GPA. Maximum means the highest GPA. The top 3% or you can say the top three percentile means you make a cut right here you make a cut right here on the right hand side of the arrow you have a three percent on the left hand side of the arrow you have a 97 percent so if you are exactly on the top three percent that means you have 97 percent of people below you in the meantime you have three percent of the people above you so 90s top three percent you are at the arrow. So that means you are better than 97% of all the seniors. Your GPA is higher than 97% of all the seniors. And in the meantime, 3% of the people, their GPA, they have a higher GPA than, than, than you do. All right. So let's say you are inside the top 3%. That means you are somewhere in, in there. From 3% to the top one to the top 1%, you are somewhere in there. All right, so that's how you uh, put the percentile in your everyday language. But what about quartile? We don't really use quartile in our everyday language, but uh, here is how we cut a data using quartile. So let me uh, change color again. So let's say I have a data set, and the first thing that I will do is I sort the data in ascending order. So sort the data in ascending order, I have a set of data. So this is sorting the data in ascending order. So here is what I will do. I will look for the minimum first, and then I will look for the maximum. So first, you sort a data in ascending order. You go from the smallest number to the largest number. And then I am going to divide this data using quartile. So the first step is, write this down. Step one is, you sort the data in ascending order from the smallest value to the largest value. And then step two is you find the median. That means you cut the entire piece of data into two pieces. So we cut that right in the middle. And then this is median. We call this a Q2. I will explain why that is a Q2 in a minute. And then this median cut the entire data into two pieces, right? We have 50% on the left and 50% on the right. And then on the first 50%, I am going to cut that into two equal pieces. I am going to make a cut right there. So do we agree that after this cut, we have 25% plus 25%, right? And then this yellow cut is called Q1. Q1 is the first 25% of the data, the first quartile. One stands for the first quartile. Q stands for quartile. One stands for the first quartile. So Q1, the cut, from the minimum to the first to Q1, so that includes the first 50%. From Q1 to Q2, that includes the second 50%, the second 25%, sorry, the first 25 and the second 25. So 25 plus 25, we have a 50%. So that is what the median is. And then in the other half, we make another cut right there. So this is another cut. So we cut that into 25 and 25. So that is a Q3. So we just divide the entire data set into four quartiles, just like we divide $1 into four 25 cents or four quarters. So Q1 is the first 25, Q2 is the first two 25%, so you have a 50, and then Q3 is from minimum to Q3, you have the first three quartiles. Three stands for the first three quartiles. 25 plus 25 plus 25, you get 75%. And this gives me a five number summary. So we have a five number summary right here. Five number summary, which is minimum Q1, median, which is Q2, and then Q3, and then the maximum. So this five number summary helps me to construct a boss plot. So here is what a boss plot look like. You start at a minimum and then you extend a line. So this is just a picture. I want to show you what, what it looks like. So to uh, 
talk about the detail, I will give you a data set and then I will use that data set to construct a boss plot. And then the next point is Q1. So let's write this down. This is a minimum. This is Q1. And then you reach to your Q2. The distance between one Q1 and Q2 depending on the actual value. And then Q3. And then you have a maximum. And then where is the box? This is called box plot, right? So box plot. And then here is how we get the box. We draw a box between Q1 and Q3. So we have a cut right there and then one right there. So and then this is how we construct a box. And then we draw one more line for Q2. So do you see there is a box right there? So this box is the middle 50%, right? So if you go back to the line on top so we have the 25 percent right and then 25 percent 25 plus 25 the total is 50 percent right so the area in here that is the middle 50 percent of the data okay so why is this called a box so first here is how how they got the name is invented by two person the first person's last name is box the second person's last name is whisker the box the middle 50 percent they called it a box and this is called they called it a whisker so these two arms they called it a whisker but nowadays we just call that a boss plot okay so this is how we use the five number summary to construct a boss plot is only a brief introduction in the next uh, video I will show you more about how to construct a boss plot and the representation of data all right I see you all in the next lesson before we sign out if you think the video is helpful subscribe like share this out for me I appreciate your help really much I see you all in the next one